It seems like only yesterday we reported on Kanye's new architectural Malibu home, but it appears that he just made the news for another real estate purchase. This time, the rapper has bought a completely unremarkable crib for $4.5 million, but here's the kicker, it's directly across the street from his ex-wife Kim Kardashian's home, the ultra-modern compound the estranged couple once shared. In comparison to that mansion, Kanye's new purchase is totally unimpressive, spending 3,600 square feet of space with pretty outdated interiors, but today we're going to take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kanye West is a rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer, businessman, and more who's been a major influence in 21st century hip hop and pop culture. It's no doubt then that he's one of the world's best selling music artists who's also amassed an estimated net worth of $1.8 billion. Kanye also tends to be a man of his word and when he has inspiration, he takes action quickly. Just the other month, he made a surprise announcement claiming he had plans to get his family back together which also means his estranged wife, Kim Kardashian. He also added that if he couldn't live in the family home, he would quote, buy the home right next door. He may not have got the home next door, but he did snag the one directly across the street, which is pretty damn close. From here, Kanye can keep an eye on the kids and Kim herself. If you watch this channel, you'd know that Kim and Kanye spent years and millions of dollars constructing their unique, empty looking and massive Hidden Hills estate. But in October 2021, Kim paid Kanye $23 million to buy out his share of the property and his new place, well, let's just say it isn't even in the same league. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This time, we're checking out Kanye's latest home, the one right across the street from his ex-wife. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. It seems that Kanye wasn't bluffing when he said he would buy the house next door to his ex-wife Kim if he couldn't move back in with them. And even though he recently bought himself a new Malibu mansion, he's actually now bought a house across the street from Kim's compound in Hidden Hills. Located in the exclusive guard-gated community of Hidden Hills, a neighborhood set in the Santa Monica Mountains, and known for being home to many actors and celebrities, Kanye's new purchase sits on just over an acre of land. The fact that it's directly across the street from the old Kimye compound has got to be the only reason why Kanye bought it. Because, well, despite its $4.5 million price tag, it's relatively unimpressive. His modest bachelor pad pales in comparison to their marital compound built in 1955 and owned by the same family ever since, with little to no modern updates throughout. The house is a single level ranch style abode with a spacious 3,600 square feet, 5 beds and 3.5 baths. Kanye's new property does have a perfectly maintained grassy lawn out front, along with gardens and landscaping, but once inside, the home is certainly outdated. Given Kanye's passion for architecture and design, his Malibu house being created by a legendary Japanese designer, and the former family mansion fully decked out in a super minimalistic and artsy vibe, we can assume the rapper will get this home completely before setting a date to move in. I mean, Kanye's vision was a huge part of designing the former family compound where Kim's living, and he worked alongside some of the most exclusive designers to make his dream home come to life. We just can't see him settling for this. Regardless, Kanye really wanted this new house, paying 421 k over asking to secure it. Despite the age decor in the house, the property looks like it was well taken care of. And that beautiful grass out front, well reportedly, that's recently installed AstroTurf, which is good for water bills and keeping it look good during the hot LA summers. Much easier maintenance. Walking in the yellow home, many of the interiors boast wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, including the common rooms at the front, one living area boasting a full wall stone fireplace across from a massive window. There's also a wooden clad great room with double height beam ceilings on one half, a brick fireplace and sliding doors out to the pool. Here, there's also some curtains that look like they could be decades old. The kitchen in Kanye's new investment was remodeled back in 2005, which is better than nothing, and offers a large island, granite counters, and basic white appliances. I'm sure those will all be traded in for top of the line stainless ones in no time though. Some of the bathrooms in the home have a definite 80s vibe, 
one of which we can see is painted in a strange pale shade of green. Also on Kanye's property, there's a humble sized guest studio with another bedroom and full bathroom attached to the garage and good to use as staff quarters. I gotta say, looking outside and seeing the horse stables complete with some cute horses inside, that made me like the place a lot more. If only they came with the property. The terrace backyard also boasts an oversized swimming pool located directly outside the main living room. Let's not forget that just a few months ago, Kanye also purchased an architectural style home in Malibu. Since Kanye paid a visit to Naoshima, the Japanese art island designed by award-winning architect Tadeo Ando, the rapper has been obsessed. He claimed this art was life-changing and once upon a time, even said he wanted to live inside a sculpture. This property is as close as one could get to living inside a sculpture. Kanye dropped a massive $57.3 million in an off-market deal for this new Malibu crib, which is only one of a few properties designed by the fame architect located in the US. Kanye's boxy style abode seems to be right up his alley with its minimalistic and eccentric design. The house was first offered at $75 million last year, so it appears the rapper actually got a deal on the place, purchasing it off of finance mogul Richard Sachs, also known as the ex-boyfriend of Ashley. Olsen. While Sachs lived here, he dropped millions of dollars in seven years of his time to plan and construct this unique three-story home that looks like a military bunker to say the least. Reportedly, the building required 1,200 tons of poured concrete, 200 tons of steel reinforcement, and 12 pylons stuck 60 feet deep into the ground to support the massively heavy house and to avoid it sinking into the sand. While the concrete home was designed by a famous architect, fans don't seem to be impressed. One person on Instagram wrote, Kanye living in a parking garage, while another said his new residence, quote, looks like a high-end bunker for a cult leader. All right, guys, so once again, we've looked at the homes of Kanye West. This time, his completely out of character, run-of-the-mill house he bought just to spy on his ex-wife, Kim K. I mean, that might not be the case, but we can't ignore the fact that it's direct directly across the street from where she's living in their former compound. Kanye is also known for his grand gestures and he did pay nearly half a million over asking for a home that's completely not his style. So when the shoe fits. Anyways, what are your thoughts on Kanye's latest property purchase or the situation in general? What about his other new home in Malibu? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. I'll see you all next time. Bye.